The count. The Pacers with four to shoot. Won't go. Done. To Zach Levine. Here comes the screen. Levine. Won't go. On the follow. Way to stay with it. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. McConnell to Brogdon. To McConnell. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. Brogdon. Beyond the arc for three. Buries it on the catch and shoot. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose the dagger with the three. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. It's Indiana basketball. Brogdon. That's rebounded by Chicago. Done. And the finish. Slam dunk. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Fires the three. Unconventional to say the least. It's no good. Here comes the screen. Curling inside. Lays it up and in. Mm, I could see the beads of sweat forming when he had to put the ball on the ground there. You still got it, though. From long range. No good. Long key from three-quarters court. We've reached the end of the first quarter here in game one. Jay and I are back after this. It's the NBA playoffs on EA Sports. One quarter down. Jay, is anyone going to miss? Defense was not good in that first quarter. Both teams are on fire, but speaking of competitive juices, one of the beautiful things that we heard during the timeout, in a team huddle, you heard multiple voices that weren't the coach saying how much more they needed to fight in order to win this game. Oh, trust me, the intensity level is going to pick up a couple of notches. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Brogdon down to Warren. Not going to have it this time. Just incredible timing on that slot. And count the basket inside. No doubt about where that one was headed. T.J. Warren uh, tips it. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Brogdon. Shot from in close, no good. Carter. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. Now a whistle, and Indiana is going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over in what's now a four-point game. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Change. Done. A big finish. Hey, look, this is a new wave. If a young cat catches you sleeping on the wrong night, it's definitely going to get a million plus views the next day. Screen coming.
the screen sets him up for two. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. To Markinen. On the pass, stolen by Indiana. Give him two points. High percentage. It's so difficult to block a guy like that with that kind of athleticism and length. Your timing almost has to be perfect, but pretty much there's no stopping him when he's around the rim. Short jumper off the mark. Pacers with the possession. To Brogdon. Oh, Carter with the rejection. Screen coming. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Drains it. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Finishing inside the paint on that one. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. from the post. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. To Wendell Carter. Nice pass to set things up. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Bulls have it. Shot by Dunn, no good. To Brogdon. Nothing going here on that drive. to shoot for Indiana to Turner. Shot from the lane, won't go. No time left on this quarter with the Bulls in front. Collison to Young. Slams it down. Showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. To McConnell. The shot almost. So Wendell Carter. Wendell Carter powers it through. Well, look, you can't be caught flat-footed on defense. You need to be on the balls of your feet, especially in transition. You have to jab at that guy with the ball, hedge at him. Make him think that maybe you will take him. Maybe you'll fan out to a defender on the perimeter. But still, keep him guessing. But when you don't do that, that's easy money. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. I see the easy dunk, but what I don't see is energy. Scream, do something. Get yourself emotionally involved in the game. Right down the lane, but the shot won't go. Warren defended by the former Hoya. To McConnell. Screen coming, Oladipo. Yes, Victor Oladipo. Looking good, four for five. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 when attacking the ring. Pacers control. Oladipo to McConnell. Probing the defense. From the painted area, won't go down. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. Oh, big finish at the rim. 
Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Oladipo to McConnell. Here comes the screen. McConnell to Oladipo. Has a chance. Yes, Victor Oladipo. He's now five for six. Oh, my goodness. Someone please patch me into the arena intercom. <laughs> Clean up on aisle three. Gets it in the left corner. Porter on the Pacers come away with the steal. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Now the Pacers go to use a timeout. They trail by two. And the question, do they look for the tie in overtime? Or do they go for it all with a three? Deep three at the buzzer. The Bulls take this one. They grab game one of this best of five series. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off. Flushes it home. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Into the front court, it's Walker. 8-2, our score. Uh, woo, I like that intensity on that play. That's how you actually dig in the dirt and do your job on the defensive end. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contest. Finishing inside the paint on that one. No doubt about where that one was headed. it down from mid-range and if you don't contest he's knocking that down with ease bowls with it nothing going here on that drive marking it to chris dunn shot clock winding down from the outside no good to Hayward. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. The free throw, perfect. And the lead is up to seven. To Hayward. To Marcus Smart. Short jumper misses. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. We've reached the end of the first quarter here in game one. Back with more after this. It Ed Cohen. Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. To Jalen Brown. Oh. 
I drive to the basket, but it somehow stays out. And this happens all the time in this league. Sometimes offensively, you're tired. It's one of those type of nights. You combine that with the fact that the defense is hungry and active and contesting everything, that's why shots aren't dropping. Knocked loose. Boston with the basketball. And he's fouled, and he earns your trip to the line. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. Jalen Brown, a couple of free throws on the way. A career 65% free throw shooter. And he connects on the first free throw. Can't connect on the second. And he splits the pair. He's looking for that touch. And you hate to say this, but this is the reality of the matter. Sometimes it takes guys a little while to warm up into the game. Seems like they finally found their rhythm in the second quarter. Austin secures the rebound. Walker with the basketball. Now down six to Hayward. And his canter above the rim. I mean, defense, is it that easy? Can I see some reaction after somebody gets an easy dunk? Some yelling, some kind of emotion? I need you to get involved back in this ballgame. Beyond the arc for three. It's no good. Shots not going down. Across the timeline, it's Walker. Trailing by four. Deep right corner. Hayward buries it on the catch and shoot. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose a dagger with the three. <laughs> to Zach Levine. <laughs> to Wendell Carter. <laughs> Young cleans it up. Offensive board. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. To Hayward. Tatum. Great defense, forcing the miss. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Knocked loose. Chicago with the possession. And he finishes at the rim. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Walker into the front court. Five-point game. Has a chance. Shot by Tatum won't go. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Into the front court, it's Walker. Margins eight. To Hayward. Short jumper, and a put-back slam. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. That misses with two seconds to go. It's halftime here in game one. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA. And with... Game through the first two quarters as hey, it's our game. Let's take it home. <laughs> Walker. <laughs> to Jalen Brown. Awesome. 
Austin with four to shoot. Walker to Jalen Brown. Plenty of contact. The shot no good. But you can't just be a one-dimensional player. I know you're probably frustrated by me even saying that, but when you don't even give the option to pass the ball by utilizing some head fakes or ball fakes here and there, you save the defender by keeping them on their toes with the element of surprise. Oops, he missed the first one. Good recovery. Hits the second free throw. Walker with the basketball. The margin standing now at seven. Nothing going here on that drive. Short jumper stays out. To Markinen. Levine. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Can't connect. Ball's controlled by Boston. Walker. Ah, no good. I agree. I thought there was a foul, but also it's all about your approach. You can't come down the lane and jump off one leg. It's called a power lift. Go off two legs and expect the contact. To Chris Dunn. Short jumper won't fall. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Gets it in the left corner to Jalen Brown. There's a pass stolen by Chicago. Marking it. Off the assist. Showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. Across the timeline, it's Walker. His guy's down by nine. To Jalen Brown. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now. So click on that bell button if you want to subscribe for more content. Get the thumbs up button if you like the video so much. And if you found my recent video interesting, share a comment down below the description so you can comment with others and give them feedback of how you felt about it. So I'm AK Happy Corner 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.